I'm gonna show you a free app that's gonna change the way you live stream, and we're starting right now. What is going on? My name is Nick. Welcome to another video. If this is your first time here and you want to learn how to grow your channel, make videos and all types of other YouTube related stuff, start now by subscribing and clicking the bell so you don't miss anything. Okay, so I am super excited about this. If you've been watching my channel for any amount of time, you know that I'm addicted to live streaming. This just leveled everything up and made everything so much cooler. What I'm talking about is the remote for Streamlabs OBS. What Streamlabs OBS is, if you're looking at the screen right now, the interface that you're seeing is Streamlabs OBS. It's like OBS, but instead of it being open source, it's something that Streamlabs is running, it's something that Streamlabs is supporting, and it's something that is integrating all of Streamlabs awesome features. So let's say, for example, you are a content creator that hasn't reached the monetization requirements yet. If you're a live streaming YouTube content creator, then Streamlabs is going to allow you to accept donations through your PayPal account so that you don't have to be within the guidelines of YouTube, which is pretty awesome when it comes to monetizing what it is that you're doing. But what I really want to show you in addition to the Streamlabs software itself is this thing right here. What this is, is it is a live switcher. Typically, you would have to spend a lot of money in order to get something like this, but this is actually free, provided by Streamlabs, and it works directly and extremely easy with their software. I'm gonna show you how to install it in a bit, but right now, I just wanna give you a quick demo of what it does. If you look down here in the bottom of the screen, you're gonna see a scene list. Basically, what that is, is it's different presentations for different layouts of what it is that you are presenting to the people that are watching your live stream. What this allows you to do, this allows you to actually switch between the different scenes without having to use a mouse, without having to pull the software up onto the screen or anything like that. Check this out. If I want to switch from the scene that you're seeing right now to, let's say, like a gaming environment or a review environment or reaction environment, then all I have to do is just click that button and then I have a totally different scene. If I want to switch it to, let's say, a split screen where I have a website and I want to, you know, scroll around and look at the different things for the website, then I can do that as well. Let's say that I want to go back to the full screen and if you look down here, down in this side of the screen, you're gonna see a little record button. Well, if you are live streaming and you wanna record segments of your show, you wanna record the whole thing, but you don't wanna to have to, again, you don't wanna to have to open the software in order to do it. You can just click on here, and then you're gonna see that it's gonna activate the little recording button. And then as soon as I wanna stop recording, I click there again, and then it's gonna turn off the recording. If I wanna go live, I hit here to go live. I hit here to actually stop live streaming as well. So this is basically an entire control panel for your live streaming software. This is a total game changer. So what I wanna do is I wanna show you how you can install this so you can start using it yourself and I wanna give you a walkthrough on the phone itself to show you exactly how to set this up so you can start using the remote for Streamlabs as well. So the very first thing that you wanna do is you wanna go into the Google Play Store and you wanna look for Streamlabs. Once you see this little icon right here and it pops up, what you wanna do is you want to click on it and then you wanna install Streamlabs. Once installed, of course, you wanna click open. Now on this screen, they're gonna ask you to log into whatever it is that you plan to stream from. So what you wanna do is, if you're a YouTuber, you wanna log into that. If you are on Twitch, you wanna log into that. But whatever your preference is, you want to just click on that now and go ahead and log in. Once you're logged in, what you're gonna see is you're going to see these different options for different widgets that you can set up. Now, I personally recommend the alert box, I personally recommend the event list, and I personally recommend the chat box just so people can see their chat on the screen. Viewers seem to like that. You can also add the jar. You know, they have a bunch of different things that you can add here, but these are the essentials. So make sure that at the very least you add those. Next thing you want to do is you want to click on next. And of course you want to enable the camera and the mic. Once you're logged in, then you're going to see yourself on the screen like this. Once you do, what you want to do is you want to slide to the right, and then you're going to see the option for the remote control. You want to click on that. And then now it's going to ask me to switch cameras because I have to scan a QR code. So what we're going to do is we are going to go into the computer and I'm going to go up to the settings option. And then once I'm in the settings, I'm gonna go down to the remote control option here at the very bottom of this list. I'm gonna click on that. Now, once I have that, I'm going to switch cameras so that I can scan this QR code. So as you can see on the screen right now, it's telling me to sync this up for the QR code. I'm just gonna click on this to click it to show. And then now what it's gonna do is it's going to connect it on the back end and then bam, it comes up and that is all you have to do to connect. It's super easy, super fast, and it gets it done. And then once it's in there, all you have to do is click on each individual scene that you already have set up and then that will help get you taken care of to where you don't have to spend money on these external boxes. You can set this up and you can control every detail of every scene from within this. So as an example, let's say I wanted to turn off the webcam, let's say that I wanted to turn off the display capture, all of that stuff is taken care of within the app 
and it's 100% free and it's ran by Streamlabs who is trying to help live streamers and creators up their game, make everything better and helping them with a ton of features that can help you monetize your live streams and can help you really make your streams stand out and make them a ton of fun and very entertaining for the people that are participating in your live stream. And of course, to make all of this work properly, you need to make sure that you have Streamlabs OBS installed as well. So in order to do that, you go to streamlabs.com, click on Streamlabs OBS. And from there, you can go ahead and download, install, and start using Streamlabs OBS. And if you wanna learn more about growing your channel, making videos, and all types of other YouTube-related stuff, start now by hitting the round subscribe icon so you don't miss anything. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.